in C. So let's see how it goes. In this part, what we will do is we will try to find sum of all digits of an integer. Okay. So how do we approach the problem? So we have got 1, 2 and 3. Say for example, if we have an integer 123. So what we need is 1 plus 2 plus 3. That is 6. So how do we get that? Okay. So if there is any mechanism by which we can sort it out, I mean separate the digits, then we can have that. So if we divide it by 10, then uh, we get 12, right? And the remainder would be 3. So yes, we have got the remainder 3 separated. And then we have that 12. So if we divide 12 again by 10, so we get remainder again. So that would be 2. And then we have 1 remaining. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 would be uh, 6. So how to convert this into code? That is the art of uh, programming. So what we do is, you know, we uh, prompt for an integer and then we take that integer and we have a variable sum is equal to 0. Okay. So now you remember our uh, division operator, right? So we say while i divided by 10 is not equal to 0. We'll see why we say that. And then we compute the remainder and we divide it by 10. I mean, say 123, then we divide it by 10 and we compute the remainder. And we add that sum to, uh, we add that remainder to sum. So if the number is 1, 2, 3, the sum will be 3 now. Now we need to get that 12. So we divide it by 12 instead of using modulus operator we use integer division and now i is equal to i by 10 so we could have also said that i slash is equal to 10 so that would mean also the same thing so now i would become 12 so you see how we are reducing the number and then it goes here again and now 12 by 10 that is 1 still not equal to 0 so it will go inside and now i is 12 sum was 3 so percentage 10 i percentage 10 12 percentage 10 would be 2 remainder would be 2 so sum plus is equal to 2 so now sum becomes 6 and then we do that again i mean division and then we have i as 1 so now i by 10 that is 1 by 10 would be, would be 0 and then the loop will terminate. So we still got to add this last into sum. So you see how you have to think and you have to uh, separate out uh, the details of your problem and logically construct that into your code. So you see this small program involved input output and then it also involved uh, equality operator, it involved division, it involved modulus and compound assignments. So a simple program like this can make use of so many constructs. That is why I had kept this on hold for so long. So now let's try to see this program in action. So we run this. So we say 1, 2, 3. So it works for 1, 2, 3. Now, if our algorithm is right, it should also work for 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, it also works for that. Now, if it is right, it should also work for 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, it also works for that. So, let's arbitrarily put an integer. So, 5, 6, 11, 2, 13 and 4, 17 and 3, 20. So, seems working. 3, 5, 7, 4. So, uh, 3, 5, 8 plus 7, 15 plus 4, 19. So, looks like a good program. But uh, let's try some negative number. Okay, so we got negative output. Now why we got negative output? So if you see this, then your remainder would be what? <clears throat> your remainder would be minus 4. 
and then your remainder would be minus 3 and then minus 2 and minus 8. So sum of all these negative remainders is minus 17. So then you have to take care of the fact that if my number is less than 0 then I need to change its sign. I mean the sum sign. So how do we achieve that? Okay. So we say that if, okay, so <clears throat> you will have to put a flag here, int flag is equal to false, uh, false, and to use false we need to include std bool, right, so we take std bool dot h, and then we say uh, uh, boolean flags, sorry bool flag is equal to false and then I s we check if before we reduce i we check if i less than 0 we make flag is equal to true so it's a kind of uh, remembrance to us that okay if i is less than uh, 0 then our flag is true so it's a kind of marker now we can compare here if flag so that is if flag is true then you use the unary operator sum is equal to minus sum what did this would do is it will apply uh, a unary operator on that <coughs> unary negation operator i have not told about this but remember i have shown you that page at the end of operators uh, video so you can uh, go there and see this so minus one two three okay it didn't work so we'll have to possibly use plus six I never use uh, that so <coughs> okay, I think no, no 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 I made a mistake I didn't compile the program so you see negate negation operators makes minus six plus six so my fault <coughs> I should have compiled the program again after changing the code. So see how we use a flag as a marker to remember things. That is, okay, since i is changing, so we need to remember, okay, i was less than zero. So this is also a kind of a technique which you will learn over a period of time using flags <coughs> and then changing the sign. Now this sign change is only for display purposes, right? We don't want this negation to come in the final output, even if the integer entered is negative, right? <clears throat> Let's try uh, this program with positive after making these changes. So yes, it is still working. So even after making code changes, the program's output does not change. That means your original code was fine. So <clears throat> we will stop with this example here. In next part, we'll see a very interesting example regarding circles I have given you a heads up so that would be a very interesting example wait for that uh, and see you uh, in the next video till then enjoy happy programming